is, is worshiping the same God. It's, the Bible talks about in Ephesians 4, one faith, one Lord, one baptism. Mm -hmm. And so all of us are different, and that's what makes it beautiful because it adds color to the atmosphere. Yeah. So if you're not confident in who you are, you won't be confident in the sound or the gifts of any kind that the Lord is producing through you. So I want you to be confident in who you are, and that includes loving you. Wow. You have to love yourself if you're going to be confident in who God says you are. The love of God has no selfishness or arrogance in it. There is no selfishness or arrogance in the love of God. So I just I felt led to share that with us tonight just for us to understand that when we get up here and minister on Sunday mornings or Wednesdays and uh, when we're getting up here and recording and those kinds of things, you know, we call it praise and worship, but this is just life. Mm -hmm. yeah. Life, this is, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're going to do life. Okay? We're going we to minister life. Wow, minister life. <laughs> That's really what this is. We're ministering life. It's not a, you know, praise being fast, high-frequency songs and worship being low-frequency songs. It's just life. We're ministering from our experiences and from our times with the Father. Mm -hmm. That's what this literally is. And it's coming alive through melodies and harmonies. Mm -hmm. So be confident in your sound. No more comparing yourself to nobody else. Yeah. You can always increase in your skill. You can always do that. But what we're not going to do, mm -hmm. what we're not going to do is downplay the sound God has already given us. Mm -hmm. That's not what we're going to do. We're not going to do that. Not anymore. We're not going to do that because the kingdom needs you. The kingdom needs you. And so I just wanted to uh, share that with y'all. Um, it's made great impact in my heart and it's still, I'm still digesting that. And I'm still learning that diluting the gift that God has given me is not humility. It's just simply not humility. It's false humility. It doesn't serve people well. It doesn't serve God well when I digress or I dilute what he's given me when people actually need the potency. You feel what I'm saying? They need the potency of what God has planted inside of me. And it's not my own doing. It's his. He gets all the credit and the glory for it. But we are the vessels. We are the conduits. And this is why it also pays for us to be disciplined because the kind of anointing that is being imputed in us in this hour mm -hmm. is a strong one. It's a heavy one. Mm -hmm. And the way we used to kind of, and I'm speaking not just in this room, but also in the body of Christ at large, the way we used to just kind of, you know, lag behind and just do enough to get by, that ain't going to work in this time. Mm -hmm. That's not going to work in this season because... The level of anointing is great, Ooh. which means the level of responsibility is great. Right. right. Jesus. You know what I'm saying? So discipline is the prayer for the day. Amen. <laughs> for this hour, we need discipline. And discipline is not discipline unless it's consistent. Oh, wow. wow. In order for it to be true <laughs> discipline, it has to be consistency. Okay? One of the songs you wrote by 15 years ago. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We need to be disciplined. And consistency makes discipline potent. It makes it mean something. Jesus. It wow. defines what discipline is. Okay? So, it's just so much stuff. I know we got to record, guys, but it's just, I'm, I'm full. I've been full since May. Wow. I've been full since the middle of May, and it's just all of this stuff God is speaking and just ready to pour out as the Lord gives utterance. You know what I'm saying? But I just want us to be conscious that we are his sons and his daughters first, and we minister from that place. You know what I'm saying? Not trying to prove nothing to nobody. And, you know, we just we minister from our life experiences. So, yeah. Thank you, Lord. Okay, I think my heart is free. It's clear.